Okay, the little uh, inverter, the French inverter is all boxed up. And uh, it turned out uh, better than I hoped. Uh, it just kind of developed into something kind of really cool. And several people have asked me for the circuit diagram here. And it doesn't belong to me. Um, so I'm not going to post that. You can find it at uh, this gentleman's channel. He's uh, French. And his videos are in French, but they're extremely well done. You can figure out how to make this circuit. And this is the gentleman's uh, inverter circuit. And it's what I was calling the uh, French flip-flop inverter. Um, probably not an appropriate name. Um, but anyway, uh, the thing worked out real good. And uh, I have a um, very important part right here. This is a fuse. It's a one amp fuse. And it's very easy to get to. And uh, some of my other projects, uh, I got real lackadaisical about putting a fuse in it and I've almost had some fires so if you ever do make one of these inverter type things that are going to put out some pretty good voltage do yourself a favor and get a fuse holder that is easy to get to and accessible and make it low enough so it won't hurt anything in here uh, if you pull too high a load um, this is uh, the thing that gets hot right here this is a 25 ohm rheostat from radio stack uh, it's not high enough wattage I have another one ordered but uh, this is what controls the uh, power going through this. Uh, I set it up with three outlets here on the tail end um, to drive different things at different times if I want to. But uh, it, it actually worked out awfully well. And like I say, if you go over to this gentleman's channel and look at the video, uh, it explains uh, the circuit quite well. It's just I've done some modifications to it. and. Uh, uh, it's something that uh, you'll have to adapt to your particular needs and my circuit will not do what his did it does things a little differently and I wanted to make it a real low low uh, power type thing because I have a big inverter for the big stuff but I wanted something that would like you know charge up your cell phone or, or do a few lights um, that was uh, fairly small and discreet but so let me turn it on here it's got a LED indicator light so even if it's turned off, you know it's running. Uh, this is the LED light that works the best. And that's just blindingly white uh, light. And then uh, I've got plugged into here another light over here. Let me turn this one on. And that's another bright light. So y you've got multiple lights you can use. And uh, I liked this idea that you just plug an extension cord into it. And uh, you can plug in whatever you want to it. And uh, I have this so that it uh, really runs below one, uh, 1 amp. And that's why I put the fuse in there. Because the MOSFETs, there's no heat sinks on them. And they don't even get uh, warm before that fuse blows. And I wanted it that way. I wanted it so that the circuit stayed cold. This is what's drawing the heat, is the rheostat right here. But anyway, it, it uh, like I say, it worked out extremely well. And uh, I liked the fact that you can plug different things into it. Like, watch, watch, this is the thing everybody wants to be able to charge if they need to. And there goes the iPhone. I just plugged it in here. And now the iPhone's charging. So there's, there's like I say, different things you can do with this and it, it's very versatile and I made it so that you can put it all in this box close it up and uh, store it clip leads just go in the box I left the battery outside rather than try to put an internal battery in it and I found on other projects this makes more sense because um, you can charge these batteries up externally you don't have to have them in the device especially on an inverter like this uh, you don't you don't need it, nor should you probably have it inside the inverter box. But uh, anyway, that's the boxed up version of my little uh, inverter. It's I call it the French inverter because the gentleman that uh, invented it uh, and showed the video is from France. Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, some of you guys can build one of these. It seems to be a real good project. Thanks.